Hi everyone, it's Haynes here. Being a QS student, we used to take off quantities from architectural and structural drawing. Yet, most of the time, through my observation, students did not realize that both drawings does not match to each other. And that mismatch between drawings is what we call clash. It is because students usually take off an element without referring to both architectural and structural drawings. Clashes will cause inaccuracies in result of quantity take off. Basically, there are two types of clashes, which are hard clash and soft clash. Hard clash is clash where two or more construction elements meet and intersect each other, whereas soft clash is clash that does not intersect. Traditionally, clash is being found and solved through overlapping of drawings from several disciplines. But that consumes a lot of time as well as effort. Moreover, it requires a lot of visualization in visualizing those clashes. Based on experiment done by Messner, through VR facilitated beam, it provides assistance to students in visualization improvement. And the experiment result shows that students are able to find more conflicts through VR than traditional method. Moreover, clash detection skill is the most required skill by industry from undergrads. Because studies from Bi Nam Hyun mentioning that clash detection skill is the most required skill by contractors. In addition, during BIM Day 2018, Injit Rasman from Kwasalan mentioned that he wished that all graduate students have clash detection abilities for future industry competition purpose. And graduate students should have well prepared clash detection skills for future in order to help students to gain knowledge on the effect of clash detection towards take off accuracies. A research will be conducted with the assistance of VR facilitated BIM. There are three BIM softwares will be involved in this research, which are Revit, Navisworks, and Revistore from Visa. In the beginning of this research, a pre-survey will be done in determining the knowledge of clash among QS students, where then students will begin to identify and solve clash through traditional method. Similar method is done in the second process where students will use VR in finding and solving clashes and the quantities will be quantified by Revit. Before the experiment ends, students will be asked again about clash knowledge to ensure that students have already known about clash detection and a review on the experience of the experiment will be done. We expected that students will find more clash through VR than traditional method and we hope that the quantity taken off accuracy will be increased after solving the clashes. Before ending, we wish that this research will make contribution to show the importance of clash detection for students in gaining clash knowledge. And I think similar method can be applied by the industry because Revisto allows multiple users to view clash through VR. That's all from me on the effect of clash detection towards quantity takeoff accuracy. Hope you guys like it, thumbs up if you love it, hope to see you guys soon.